Do you know how on edge I am with this text? Like seriously. I know he's excited, but I want to be excited. I don't know what's in his head. We've been on this journey now for about four months. I thought I was getting in early, late last year. Now we're sitting five weeks out from the release of 29 Gold Stars with still no idea as to what film clip we're going to do. And I'm just praying. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. We have to have a film clip and I don't want to do another live one. Um, yeah, it's in this part of the process is fully out of my control because film is not my bag. So I fully have to rely on somebody else. <sighs> As an independent artist with a reasonably low budget, the goal for me was to try and find a production company that's looking to fill a creative hole in their reel in a way that aligns with what I'm after. And just when we're about to go back to the drawing board, I got a call from hey, 13 man, and Co's Amanda St. Solvi, and he had an idea. Okay, this is yep. a female revenge tale about Cav. I think that's me. A wealthy gigolo. The overall tone, how do you see it? Like, do you see it to be a little bit, a little bit fun? And like, how serious do you see it? If Between management and production, we had a lot of conversations. As cool as the idea was, it just wasn't an easy yes. An idea like this could either be clever and cool or cheap and try hard. We had to make sure that it aligned with my art. I definitely didn't want to be making a slutty R&B clip. As soon as I realized that we all wanted to make the same type of clip, I hit go. All right, game on. Shit. <laughs> oh, like I love girls, but they scare the shit out of me. As when the idea was becoming a reality, that's when the real challenges appeared. What am I gonna tell my wife? <laughs> Fuck, I have to kiss someone. Oh, what's my wife gonna say? Oh. I have to kiss someone. <laughs> I literally said to Amy like three weeks ago, imagine if I was an actor and I had to kiss another girl, could you handle that? And I can't believe this is in the script now. Fuck. Probably not the right time. <laughs> hey, babe. How's your morning going? I'm thinking that Xavier will be in bed now, so now will be a good time. That was definitely the wrong time. Both of them. I swear I had full intentions of telling her, uh, but she beat me to her own news, which is my kids have foot and mouth disease. Selfish little bastards. <laughs> yeah, probably not the right time. All right, bye. <laughs> no fucking way. Man up, Cavalieri. I think it's time to get serious and seduce her with some wine. Hey, babe, you, me, and a bottle of wine tonight. Take your mind off our germy kids. <laughs> Shit, how do you do this? Uh, in the script itself, there is a bit of a scene where, um, <laughs> it's awkward. I may have to kiss one of the girls. Yeah. It's acting. Is that it? <laughs> You're okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay. As long as I get to kiss a guy sometimes. <laughs> I'm a musician, Amy's a personal trainer. We work really hard to oh. keep the hands of jealousy from suffocating our relationship. Oh. That was uneventful. <laughs> These days we actually kind of have fun with it. I have my next acting role and I'm like massive and I'm kissing like all these hot actors. You like who? I don't know, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, I knew you were going to say Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> it's totally in my league. <laughs> what, you're a babe? Yeah. Um, I'm in acting like I know he's in my league. <laughs> this is not gonna bite me in the I'm ass. I watch Vanderpump Rules now. <laughs> you wanna watch Vanderpump Rules? All right, go back to your bloody Vanderpump Rules. Okay, um, I'm about to go audition with the director of the 29 Gold Stars film clip around 20 girls. I'm at the new theater in Newtown. Uh, kind of packing it. It should be every dude's dream, but the realities feel completely different. And it's from an acting point of view. Um, Mine, my career, acting career ended uh, with David Hasselhoff and a dog uh, when I was about 14, so I have no idea what I'm doing. For two hours, we were auditioning a different girl every five minutes with two exercises. One exercise was a little uncomfortable. I want you to address each other mentally. Yeah, pretty uncomfortable, especially when the director is encouraging me to go to this hot and steamy place while one of the girl's sons is in my peripheral and when another's boyfriend was sitting like three metres away. Oh, and when we were right in the middle of a Thai restaurant. And action. In public. 
As soon as I let go of whether I was looking like a dickhead, I actually started to have fun and it was reminding me of what it is that I love about acting and they showed me just how deep an actor goes in order to play a role. I'm so stoked that the cast is locked in, everyone's absolutely amazing. Now I just have to deal with these lingering doubts. It is a bit scary because it's such a departure from what I usually do and I've never really thought much of myself as an actor so I know that magic generally doesn't happen within comfort zones so for this to work I think I just need to let go, trust the good people I have around me and more importantly just have some fun, which I should be able to do.